गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट वेलकम इन माई यूट्यूब चैनल दैट इज द डॉक्टर क्षत्रिय अमिता इस चैनल इज स्पेसिफिकली फॉर बी एस सी एग्रीकल्चर ऑनर स्टूडेंट सो वी डिस्कस इन प्रीवियस क्लास अबाउट दी लीडर इट इज अ पार्ट वन इन दैट डेफिनेशन ऑफ लीडर लीडरशिप एंड क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ लीडर ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ टाइप सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ लीडर ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ स्टाइल ऑफ वर्किंग सो लेट स्टार्ट अवर टूडे टॉपिक वी आर मूव टूअर्ड द नेक्स्ट क्लासिफिकेशन दैट इज अ क्लासिफिकेशन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ स्टाइल ऑफ वर्किंग सो इन दैट एटोक्रेटिक लीडर इज देयर एटोक्रेटिक लीडर दैट इज ऑथोरिटेरियन लीडर सो एटोक्रेटिक लीडर इज वॉट they are do, they also called as a dominant leader they have the dominancy over the member of the society so whatever the decision they are taking they are taking their own self they are not including any member in that particular uh, decision making process or sometimes if they are uh, involving the person but very rare okay so that is autocratic leader is there example is hitler democratic leader participate leader Uh, the democratic leader means what lok uh, lokshahi democratic lokshahi neta lokan sathi vichar karnar so here participation of the both the persons member of the group and leader they both are participate in the decision making process whatever it may be taken for the welfare of the group then the lisa sphere leader or delegate leader it is called as a pratinidhi okay so this lisa sphere means what they are not involving the uh work of their employees they just give the instruction to the, their employees and employees did work as their own way there is no any rules and regulations is there there is no any time period just they free they, uh, this type of the leader they did not have faith on their themselves they did not have faith on themselves but they have the faith on their employees okay they did not confident self confident is not there with this is a fair leader but they have the conf uh, confidence on their employees that is your leader sphere leader delegate leader or free reign we are going to discuss in detail so as is shown this diagram is given here okay so this is the autocratic okay so the, in this autocratic this is the leader okay this is the leader and these are the employees okay the subordinate so what happen here this arrow is uh, you show is the, this type of the arrow towards the employees okay so whatever the instruction given by the leader to their employees so he just uh, giving the orders to their employees and employees follow that particular orders so that is happen here again decision process is only centralized means with this leader only they are not including their employees in the decision process this is about autocratic style of working and it's called as a autocratic leader okay understood then the next is a your democratic style so here what as shown in this picture uh, whatever diagram is there here arrow is a in a two direction okay two direction arrow is there this is the leader here whatever the decision process is is not a centralized is with the two direction means leader involve their employees in a decision process okay so it is a both direction process is there giving and taking process okay that is a democratic style or the person is called as a democratic leader okay they are um, we are going to discuss in detail advantage and characteristics also then third is your leader sphere here what there is no any two way process is there just uh, this is a sphere leader are or this style is what leader is a, they are self oriented okay just they giving the instruction to their members okay just they are ins instructed to their members they did not have self confidence okay self confidence lack of self confidence with uh, him or her just giving the instruction to their uh, um worker or employee or subordinate and the subordinate doing the work as per their own way okay so that is your leader sphere then we move toward the uh, explanation of this uh, particular i am just giving the basic idea about this three according to diagram here autocratic leader author authoritarian leader 
here what whatever the control is there individual control as shown this is the leader so it is a whatever the individual control of that particular leader is there okay just one minute ah so whatever the control is there so who is the leader of that particular uh, autocratic style so control with the particular individual person of that particular leader means he are going to be taking the all the decision okay the input of the group members is very little here okay so that is about autocratic leader here also whatever the uh, choice is there or whatever the ideas are there or whatever the judgments they are rarely accepted by the follower okay so whatever the ideas given by the uh, their employees or their subordinate to the leader they are rarely accept all that particular opinion choices ideas or any judgments okay they did not accept easily or accept it is a rarely okay sometimes so this is about your autocratic style then next is a characteristics of this type of the leader autocratic leader what kind of this characteristics they have so decision making process is a centralized i already told you the leader holding so much power and decision making authority okay a little or no input from group members then group leader dictate all the work method and process so whatever the uh, um, process and work is there they, it should be the dictated by that group leader okay so this is about the characteristics of the autocratic leader then next is your uh, next characteristic is that does not trust on employees why they are not involving their members in the decision process because the trust is not Uh, on their particular employees they did not trust on their employees employees or group members become more dependent why because whatever the instruction they are given by the group leader they just followed that they are not doing anything their own self so that's why they de more dependent on their particular group leader uh, then group members become tense fearful or resentful so that's why uh, more stress is there so the employees getting more tense due to this particular situation because they are more dependent on their uh, group leader okay so that's why advantage some advantage also this type of the uh, autocratic style of leadership or autocratic leader what decision is a faster because uh, there is no choice for employees or the whatever the uh, any uh, ideas or opinion in mind of the uh, employees also they cannot uh, say to their particular group leader so whatever the group leader said they just followed that things so whatever the decision is there it is from one side only so whatever the decisions is there it, it will be the getting faster within a short time period it's commonly used in the situation where control is necessary so where this uh, control is necessary if any organization is there if any institution is there formal institution so their control is very essential in that situation this type of the uh, style is a necessary okay or it is a used when condition are dangerous or any rigid rules uh, is there so it make the stability again more efficient to tackle the intra organizational conflict sometimes some intra organizational conflicts are there means within the member of the uh, member of the particular group some uh, problems is there within the members related to the coordination cooperation and any other so that's why it is a uh, efficient to tackle this type of the situation then some disadvantage also there so what kind of the disadvantage are there uh, this type of the uh, style of working that is autocratic employee should contribute okay decide which group member should be contribute uh, by the side of their group leader that means group leader should be decided who should be contribute in the particular decision making process or who should be not contribute in a particular work or decision so that is a disadvantage there okay subordinate or group member are unhappy about the amount of control by the leader so whatever the control uh, is there on the group member subordinate or that particular members are not happy with that okay that is one of the advantage means satisfaction is not with the employees then subordinate don't like to work with the autocratic leader because more control is there okay and more dominance is there that's why they are not uh, like to work with this type of the leader subordinate lack of motivations are there okay so due to this control okay uh, dominance in nature they they lose their motivation to do 
work they just do their duties they did not have that much enthusiasm with them to do a particular work with the innovative things okay so whatever the rules and regulation they just follow that so that is one of the disadvantages there superior or leader cannot help the subordinate to develop the leadership skill based on the particular why because it is more dependent depend, dependency is there okay so they cannot contribute uh, sorry cannot develop the leadership skill why because dependency is more they are dependent on their leader for doing uh, any work so whatever the work given to them so there are, these are the some advantage of this type of the uh, leadership the next is a democratic leader so democratic leader or participatory leader is what it is opposite to your autocratic leader so it includes one or more people in the decision making process so whatever the decision making process is there so it include the people in that particular process what to do or how to do means particular work should be if any particular work or particular target is there so for that they taking the opinion ideas or some planning regarded uh, things are there so they should uh, take on from the their employees okay so they are consider their employees to do any particular work okay so that is a democratic uh, leader is there maintain the final decision making authority okay through the extension worker example is extension worker so whatever the final decisions are there uh, it will be the consider with their particular authority with the help of their subordinates so extension worker is the example of this democratic leader an autocratic leader i am given the one example hitler then the characteristics of this type of the leader the example is the extension worker so extension worker when they are uh, giving the information to the their farmers or villagers okay with uh, with the time of uh, any um, technology they want to uh, transfer with uh, farmer so that time they consider their opinion also okay so here he should be the intelligent honest creative fairness or have the transparency intelligence be provide the uh, provide enough information to their subordinates whatever the uh, things are there so whatever the work should be there so they should have the all the knowledge regarding the particular subject or content or whatever the information they have they should provide to their uh, subordinate and honest whatever the a uh, decision should be there so should the open communication should have with their uh, particular members of the group okay so uh, whatever the uh, uh, particular leadership is there it should be the have uh, on the basis of discussion whatever decision decision should be taken so it should be the honest one creative uh, creative in sort they should have uh, he should have the innovative ideas okay uh, with them and also they taking the some innovative ideas from the uh members also then the fairness and transparency so decision are mainly done through the majority vote so whatever the decision should be taken in that particular group they should be taken from the their member also okay so without any partiality they are taking the this process very transparent then next is advantage of this type of the members or so leader that is a it creates strong responsible self reliant individual Uh, it makes more and higher more moral in a society so whatever the uh, decision should be taken in the particular group they should be uh, give their opinion if they are disagree with that particular opinion whatever taken in that particular group so whatever the group dis- uh, decision will be taken in that particular group they should be give their opinion regarding the particular decision it is agree or disagree so whatever the decisions should be taken it should be the Uh, they should given their opinion regarding the particular um, decision okay so they have the possibility of change also limitations uh, members are vocal and powerful in that particular group they are also dominant sometimes okay then decision making is a time consuming process whatever the decision taken in the particular group it should be the time consuming because they including the member also in that particular decision making this is about your democratic and lisa sphere i already told you it is a uh, that is a french phrase saying that or meaning of that particular lisa sphere is what let do means a particular leader that is a lisa sphere leader or lisa sphere style of working they 
should um, give the chance to their employees to let do things according to their own self okay so that is about religious fear so they should believe on their uh, employees to do work okay they did not have confidence on their uh, own self so these are the characteristics resourceful he is, he should be the resourceful relax because they just given the instruction to their subordinates and subordinates do work according to their own way they have uh, they have confidence on their employees good and creating teams are there okay finding the talent and so next point of uh, characteristic of the leader's fair is a good at creating teams so he is finding the talents and inspiring the talent to join the particular group or organization advantage of this leader's fair are what allow people to make their own decision leader is still responsible for the decision that are made this style uh, allows the greater freedom so they give the greater freedom to their people who are living uh, having with the particular group okay so that are the some advantage are there limitations low productivity is there employees are restless and lack of incentive for their team work and problem of administration supervision and coordination are multiplied this type of the problem should be created there in the administration supervision and coordination okay so this is about your leader sphere okay so we discuss about the definition of leader and leadership and classification of leader so you go through the details whatever we taught you in today's class and these are the some questions are there related to this topic so here most important was definition of the leader and classification of leader according to the basis of types and style of working with example okay so this is about our today's class if you have any doubt you can ask